seems like I should be good. Maybe you'll just give me a moment to check something. Alright then, this is Getting Over It with Bennett Body. Be sure, be sure to tell me how the audio is, by the way. I tweaked it again! But yeah. Oh, no, I don't, I don't want to continue. Never mind. Granted, I didn't really do anything, but... No, that'll, that'll never do. Gotta start a new game. All right, so basically, I'm this fella, I'm in a cauldron, and I got a mallet, and I must climb a mountain. Now you may ask yourself, why is this fella climbing a mountain in this unorthodox fashion? <clears throat> well, I imagine it's because, you know, he got into some really nasty plant and uh, gave himself a bad rash on his legs, went to the doctor and they told him they need, he needed to just keep soaking it. So, problem is, he remembered that he lives on top of a mountain. And, what, and you know, once you start soaking it, you can't really stop, so that's how the game happened. And why does he have a mallet? Now you got me there. Maybe I gotta pogo this. Oh. There's no feeling more intense than starting over. If you deleted your homework the day before it was due, as I have, or if you left your wallet at home and you have to go back after spending an hour in the commute, if you won some money at the casino and then put all your winnings on red but it came up black, if you got your best shirt dry cleaned before a wedding and then immediately dropped food on it, if you won an argument with a friend and then later discovered that they just returned to their original view, starting over is harder than starting up. If you're not ready for that, like if you've already had a bad day, then what you're about to go through might be too much. Feel free to go away and come back. I'll be here. Nah, I'm good. Today's been fine. Alright. And see, I probably don't need to tell anybody this, but this game... ...controls really badly. It's from the creator of Quop. I believe that would be Benjamin Franklin, who is just talking to us. Very, very strange control scheme. As is his calling card. And see, the thing I didn't really realize when I watch videos, you can't just kind of go down with it like that. Well, sort of, but... All right. Yeah, boy. Don't know how long I'm going to stream this for, but uh, I'm going to give it a decent little while. Whoop. All right. Thanks for coming with me on this trip. I'll understand if you have to take a break at any point. Just find a safe place to stop and quit the game. Don't worry. I'll save your progress always, even your mistakes. No, that's not getting me where I need to go. Hang on just a sec. Okay. Just a little more room for the mouse. <laughs> nope. Not how you do it. 
Oh, that's gotta hurt. Okay, we get, we're gonna do this. We first, we wanna kinda Scrooge McDuck our way up there. No. Good, good sign that already we're having this level of trouble. Oh yeah, there you go. This game is a homage to a free game that came out in 2002, titled Sexy Hiking. Now let's get back over The author there. of that game was Jazuo, a mysterious Czech designer who was known at the time as the father of B-games. And B-games are rough assemblages of found objects. Designers slap them together very quickly and freely, and they're often too rough and unfriendly to gain much of a following. They're built more for the joy of building them than as polished products. <clears throat> Sexy hiking. Now, I've seen a few people play this, but not all the way through. And honestly, you're probably not going to see me play it all the way through. Yeah, the house. The house is a tricky one. I should probably move closer to the computer a little bit. This game lives and dies with what I do with the mouse. Yeah, you gotta get some momentum going up there and kinda grab that. Nope. You gotta be quick about it, but I, part of me scared of being quick because I, I don't wanna make too many loud mouse noises. Oh, there we go. Yeah, there we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, nope. Nope. Yeah, we just want to kind of get up here. And then, kind of, Pogo. Yeah, there we go. Oh, nope. Nope. In a certain way, Sexy Hiking is the perfect embodiment of a B game. It's built almost entirely out of bound and recycled parts. And it's one of the most unusual and unfriendly games of its time. In it, your task is simply to drag yourself up a mountain with a hammer. And that act of climbing, in the digital world or in real life, has certain essential properties that give the game its flavor. No amount of forward progress is guaranteed. Some cliffs are too sheer or too slippery. And the player is constantly, unremittingly, in danger of falling and losing everything. Anyway, when you start sexy hiking, you're standing next to this dead tree that blocks the way to the entire rest of the game. It might take you an hour to get over that tree, and a lot of people never got past it. You prod and you poke at it, exploring the limits of your reach and your strength, trying to find a way up and over. And there's a sense of truth in that lack of compromise. Most obstacles in video game worlds are fake. You can be completely confident in your ability to get through them once you have the correct method or the correct equipment or just by spending uh, the time. Rip. In that sense, every pixelated obstacle in sexy hiking is real. Alright. Yeah, you just gotta do something like that. Not like that, though. That is also not correct procedure. Nope. Nuke. Nope, nope. No. 
Nah, mate. Nah. Oh. Come on. Come in. Oh, yes. No, no, no. Hang on, let me check something real quick. Oh, hey. Yeah, that one works. Alright, just checking uh, my Twitch signature there. Seeing if it worked. What are you doing, bot? kind of game you think you're playing at because I'm playing getting over it with Benedict Cumberbatch yeah this please stop moaning it's making me uncomfortable yeah this this one here this uh ore is uh, trickier than it looks like you almost kind of got to just go into that with an absurd amount of, ment um, of momentum like that. Like, that's pretty much the way you got to do it. You got to... <clears throat> <gotta, clears throat> you just got to kind of propel yourself. <laughs> Shake the microphone. I should uh, probably move it over to my left here in a little bit so that I can just kind of go crazy with the mouse here. Oh, oh yeah, that's a good... Oh, nope. That's not. Oh, yeah. That is, though. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Making mad progress. Now to lose it immediately. Let's see here. Eh. Gotta, gotta kind of, yeah. See, that's that's what you don't want to do. You want to do something like this. Nice spot in the shade. Nope, nope, you don't want to do that. Don't want to do that. You gotta... Miles pretty much hit the nail on the head there. Just because I can. Uh, no. See, the trick is you don't want to make too many sudden movements until the game requires you to make a bunch of sudden movement. Oh, you just lost a lot of progress. That's a deep frustration. Eh, not that much progress. Real punch in the gut. Not that much progress. Moderate amount. Moderate amount of progress. I play Battletoads Bingo Fazbear. So, do not underestimate my power. Do not underestimate me, Bennett Foddy. Sorry about that. Mm. 
Alright. The concentration. The trash zone over there. The obstacles in sexy hiking are unyielding, and that makes the game uniquely frustrating. But I'm not sure Jazuo intended to make a frustrating game. The frustration is just essential to the act of climbing, and it's authentic to the process of building a game about climbing. A funny thing happened to me as I was building this mountain. I'd have an idea for a new obstacle, and I'd build it, test it, and it would usually turn out to be unreasonably hard. But I couldn't bring myself to make it easier. It already felt like my inability to get past the new obstacle was my fault as a player rather than as a builder. Imaginary mountains build themselves from our efforts to climb them, and it's our repeated attempts to reach the summit that turns those mountains into something real. Ouch, you just lost a lot of progress. That's a real that's a real punch in the gut. I mean this ore is my worst enemy here. Like nah, give me the house, man. I got the house. It's the ore. It's like you put the final boss of the game in the first level. That's that's what this ore is. Cause it's like you gotta you gotta get a lot of momentum. You gotta get a lot of it. Like, I feel like at this point I'm supposed to be madder at this game than I am. But I play Battletoads. That's like my equivalent to, I went to college. I play Battletoads. You can't destroy me. I've already destroyed myself. Come here. Yeah, hang on. Um, uh, be right back. All right, so I moved the mic to my left here off of my desk so that I can, you know, really just kind of go wild with the mouse without fear of making a lot of unfortunate noise. In case you couldn't tell, that little circle is my uh, mouse indicator. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, there we don't go. Sometimes, though, you just you really don't want to go wild with the mouse. Like I said, be tell, be, be tell me if, uh, it, if it still sounds all right. But then again, this is a very quiet game for the most part, except when, you know, uh, Bilbo Frodo starts talking. So uh, it's mostly just ambient noise and this guy grunting. Come on. But the ore. The ore. There we go. Okay, now the tree. You gotta kind of rotate it like that. Yeah. It's all about rotation. You know, it would make this game even more fun playing it on a Wii remote. And by that I mean it. It would be horrible. Which means. 
he should do it. And just like that, baby. Progress can be gained and lost in an instant. You know, honestly, now that you say that, uh, that honestly sounds pretty cool. It would be awful, but also sounds pretty cool. Yeah. When you're building a video game world, you're building with ideas. And that can be like working with quickset cement. You mold your ideas into a certain shape that can be played with. And in the process of playing with them, they begin to harden and set until they're immutable, like rock. And at that point, you can't change the world. Not without breaking it into pieces and starting fresh with new ideas. Yeah, you gotta be careful here, because you can consider this kind of like a checkpoint, but you don't want to, you don't want to go too far with it. And yeah, just broad swing, kind of broad swinging. It may take us a while, but we will get there. Some way or another. Yeah, broad swings might not be enough here. Alright. No, no. It's fine. It's fine. We got this. We got this. Okay, now we don't. Yeah, you, you start to panic, and then that's when the problems happen. Oh yeah, that's perfect, thank you. Alright, nope, that is not perfect. No thank you. <laughs> Jeez. Guy's got some crazy upper body strength, though. Whoop. Yeah, what you really gotta do is you gotta do that. Dang, it's kind of hard to make the strokes you need here. Yeah, there we go. Alright. Oh yeah, this is a good spot to be. No, it's not. Never a good spot to be. Playing this game is not a good spot to be. Okay, come on. Like I said, sir, broad stroke. Oh, it happened again. Keep on trying. Don't let it get to you. I'm just gonna creep. This thing that we call failure is not the falling down, but the staying down. Mary Pickford. Mm. 
Down at Pumpkin Hill, I gotta climb with a sledgehammer. And you see, like it was no thing. Now, that if this was Battle Toad, then we'd be in some trouble, let me tell you. We'd be all the way back in Ragnarok Canyon. We'd have to do the turbo tunnel again. Wow, you just lost a lot of the Master Emerald. I think this is a pogo situation over here. Dang it. Dang it, it's just- oh god! <laughs> the main trouble I'm having with this game is finding a good place to rest my arm. You gotta do major thrust. Not- no, not- not that kind of thrust. And no, not that kind either, you perv. All right, we need we need on that rock. No, wrong. Incorrect. All right, this is where we want to be. Dang it! No. No rock. Get get on the rock. You just can't panic, that's the thing. And you also can't do that. There we go. Nope. Oh, hi, Will Saber. Nope. Nope. It's okay. It's fine. See? Everything's fine. No, actually, I want back over there. I want Steam Workshop support just so you can, like, replace the model of this dude with whatever you want. Uh, replace him with Knuckles. Have an Emerald Hunt game mode. Get get main memory on that right now. Be getting over it with Bennett Body Mod Loader. Guy's kind of got a ninth doctor haircut. He's not bald, he has a shaved head. Honestly, I'm convinced the Sonic hacking community is wizard, so I wouldn't even be surprised. My character just went, oh no. Don't worry, man, I got this. I got this. I don't got this. Did I say I don't got this? Because I lied. I got this. You've done this part before. You know it's possible. Just do what you did the first time. Shut up. I don't remember what I did the first time. Oh uh, no, we don't want that. All right, we do want that though. Q. 
get get up on the rock. Get up get on the rock. The boulder. Uh, dang. Alright, there we go. Yep, oh, nope. Eh. 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 Oh yeah, there we go. That's what we need, Kong. That's not what we need, Kong. That's the opposite of what we need. This part is a pain in the butt. I know what you're thinking. This part. But, but, for real though. You know, I, I think that's my house right there. We can just go in there. Uh, you missed exactly what you think you missed. All right, this one's a tricky bit because you kind of got to do a, a rotation switch. Just the stupid girder. Oh, pardon me. Just keep soaking it. Is this going to mute my VOD? It sounds really old, so hopefully not. That seems to be the trick. Hey, 
Yeah, they're kind of shimmy. No. No. Get the shimmy! 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 <laughs> This guy's name is now Shimmy Jimmy. The soul would have no rainbow had the eyes no tears. John Vance Cheney. You know what, Cheney? You you you're probably right. Dude, think of the games. The mad games. Oh god, my arm's getting tired <laughs> from doing this. You know, it sounds silly, but you know, these kind of rotations can kind of make you a bit wore out. Not like wore out like, you know, you just did a bunch of exercise at the gym, but more like wore out like you, you just, you just, your arm feels a bit fatigued. It can, it can happen. Ah, the building. The, now that I've figured out the secret to the ore, the building has graduated to my greatest nemesis. And kind of just, no, that ain't gonna do it. <clears throat> Yeah, that that will though. Yeah, baby. Yeah, that's what we need, Kong. Well, gotta go back now. Um, well, not a total the pain I feel now is the happiness I had before. That's the deal. C.S. Lewis. Wasn't he the one that, like, I don't know. There we go. There we there we know. Uh there. This is the stream, fellas. This is this is what I I, I'm gone for a month. This is what I come back with. Soon. Dang, son. All right. 
I forgot to uh, check. I might just be streaming the Twitch right now. Because I might have messed around with... Uh... Then again, I don't think so. I don't know. Am I, on, am I live on YouTube right now? You know what he needs. He needs a pointier hammer. It was pointier. I, that would not solve all our problems, but at least I could... You know, at least I could say I had a pointy hammer. And I just gotta... No. No. I refuse! Okay, just checking. And this this one part, it's like not even the actual part, it's just the bit leading up to the part. No. Get over. Yeah, yeah, like that. No. No. <clears throat> no. No. <laughs> On a rock. Get on the rock, just please. Yes, like that. No. No. No! Dang it, he shifted. No. <laughs> no. Okay. Give me headaches! Alright. I got my arm sore. I mean, not sore, but it's fatigued. Alright, the rock zone. The rock zone. I guess it's all kind of the rock zone, isn't it? Please, I don't ask for much. 
I just went over to the rock. I will murder you. Don't you, uh, know me. I know what I'm doing. I went to college for mountain climbing. I didn't. That's, that's, a, that's a lie. <sighs> Just get to the rock. I can't even do the part. <laughs> can't even do the part because I can't get to the part. <laughs> No! Get to the rock. The rock. The rock. Please. No, I didn't tell you to point the hammer up. I just want to pogo. This is this is where I die. This is how the world ends, not with a bang, but with a whimper. Come on! I know, man, I'm with you. Okay, maybe... You gotta, maybe you gotta do the pogo. Maybe the pogo is the ideal strategy. Maybe falling off of the girder again is the ideal strategy. So I'll just do that a few more times. And whoosh! Oh, I almost had something there. But, you know, in this game, almost and did. Two very different, uh, two very different things. You who? No. No. No! 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 I feel within me a peace above all earthly dignities, a still and quiet conscience.
William Shakespeare. Honestly, I think my arm's starting to get too tired to move my mouse around right now. Hey, Seva. Uh, just so you know, I also stream on YouTube on Dustin VG Master 2, so if Twitch isn't working well for you, you could try that. Because, you know, Twitch doesn't give me uh, quality options. I'll probably keep at this for at least another 10 minutes. I feel like an hour would be a reasonable amount of time to spend on this. Because like I said, although it seems silly, your arm does kind of get tired doing this. Basically, uh... Two is my live stream channel, and then one is for everything else. Mostly because I realized that if I uploaded all of my live streams to my main channel, that would overpower everything else pretty quick. But, you know, I still want to upload them. I'm very pro-archival. Because Lord knows, I, you want to archive this, for sure. You want to remind everyone that this happened. <laughs> also, uh, I guess I should talk about... Uh, while, while I'm doing stuff like this, I should probably talk about... I know it's pretty late to be doing this, but talk about, you know, how recent affairs have been going and, you know, what coming up next uh well first of all um as most of you know my computer has been broken but now it's now it's fixed so i'm back in action dustin tunes back in action uh in addition uh for christmas i got a capture card so, I can stream things that are not PC games or emulation. So, you know, things that just don't emulate that well, or things that I can't reasonably you emulate. I believe that you will ever feel better. But this is not true. You're sure to be happy again. And knowing this, truly believing it, will make you less miserable now. Abraham Lincoln. Uh, fixed computer. Just got somebody to swap out the hard drive. Uh, still have a couple graphics driver issues, unfortunately, but that's... You know, I guess I'll figure that out in due time. It Luckily, it's nothing too severe. You just... It just... You can't really put it into sleep mode properly, so I just turned the display off. Hopefully that's good enough. And we're back. Yeah, uh, you can also, uh, you know, do the pop-out chat if you want. That, that worked. Um, oh, but by the way, I do have it set up since I use Restream Chat. Uh, YouTube Chat will show up on stream. You know, just, just for information's sake. But you know what? I, I think I'm going to, uh, I think I'm going to listen to Langton's advice. Thanks, man. 
That was almost really bad. This is it. We got it. No, we don't. Come on. You can't really swing it towards the light without hitting the wall. At least not in any really immediately obvious way. I swear, falling to the bottom is almost less infuriating than just falling off this girder. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, dang it! Dang it, Bobby! Dang it, Bobby! Climbing mountains with a sledgehammer. Possibly in the nude. Boy ain't right. No! Get over to... The Bling zone. No. 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 I kind of do like this. And that's how it's done, boys. That's how it's done, boys. Pardon. I know this thing is picking up me burping. Has it been picking up any, like, cars going by or anything? Because that's, that's been a problem on some occasions. Mm, almost had something there. Problem is, we live like right by the street. Yeah, you're gonna hear mouse slapping in this instance. Just by virtue of the game, I believe. Just because of what it is. Streaming this for nearly an hour, but I don't got anything else to do. Well, that's not true. I I, to, I told the story at the beginning of the stream. Basically, it's that he got a bad leg rash and he's having to soak it. But the problem is he can't stop soaking it midway. Once you go soak, you gotta go full soak. You gotta, you gotta commit to it. 
but his house is on top of the mountain, so he has to do this before nightfall. You know, I remember seeing somebody, like, get up this place just by flailing about. Maybe I should try the flail strategy. Gonna mod uh, shift T into getting over it. Don't worry, I'm I'm working on it. Got uh con got controller support in just last night. Not not complete yet, but it's mostly complete. Controller support. Lost. Uh, I thought it was going to be, but no, it's act it was actually pretty easy to do in studio. Uh, the main problem is getting, like, a, a GUI for it. Like, con reconfiguring. But, I mean, as it stands, uh, you can play most of the game with a controller at, the, at this moment. Uh, I still gotta switch over a lot of input scripts. Ah, crap. Fuck it. Oh, 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 no, please. Please, God, no. Well, guys, I hate to tell you, but I'm now an atheist. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Well, let me put it this way. It's not like the GUI is hard, hard. It's just I'm lazy and it's tedious. <laughs> I think I, I have a handle on what I'm supposed to be doing here at this point, but again, knowing what to do and then actually doing it, two very different things. Much like programming. Get in there. Get in there. Oh. 
pretty much got to do it like this. No, you don't. <laughs> Oh no, I thought I was I thought I was on it. Assume nothing. Uh yeah. It it uh But you know, luckily that's about all I need for this game. No! No. 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 Kind of gradually. No. 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 No! Poop! Poop and butts! Fecal matter! I must now commit Sepeku. I think that's enough for right now. <laughs> I think I'm good. I think I'm good. <laughs> uh, well, I think that's about... Uh, I think it's about all I'm going to stream uh, today. But I should be back soon with... Uh, more Zelda 1, and then I'll probably do a science stream to kind of test out that capture card, make sure everything's synced up just right, and then a mysterious game. Ooh.